Hello! Today we are here for a tournament of dire consequence. We must determine the best soundbite of Big Brother 24. We have 32 new combatants in the realm of sound bitedom coming to get what's theirs. 32 will enter, but only one will win. This is a tournament decided by the people. The seeds were randomized. So basically how this works is that we'll pop up a poll. Boom. Don't remember what that was about. You will be voting in the poll. The winner of each matchup will advance to the next round. The loser will be shipped off to the loser's bracket. If they lose in the loser's bracket, they're out. Double elimination, that's what it means. If you're eliminated doubly, then you're out. That's it. Eventually, the losers will all face each other one by one until there's a winner of the loser's bracket. Said winner will then get a chance to come back and face the winner of the winner's bracket. So we'll get there. It'll all make sense as we go. Here we go! The Big Brother 24 Soundbite Tournament. With 32 entrants, you will get to know each and every one of them as we progress through the day. Some of them will become heroes. Some, forgotten to time. This is where they will be forged. Our very first soundbite. Kyle v. Kyle. V two very different Kyles, right? You have Kyle at his peak. That's what's up. Versus Kyle at not quite, but almost his lowest. No, no, no. Chill, bro. The poll starts now. Early lead for no, no, no. And it holds. This does not seem close. This does not seem close. <laughs> Just end the poll already. <laughs> Says Lin too. <laughs> well, that is going to be it. No, no, no is going to be the winner and will advance to round two of the winner bracket. Today's audience, audience was asked, do you want to witness LOLs or are you feminists? Their response overwhelmingly, is that they're feminists. So next up, we have uh, another announcer beat here. I think this is the only other announcer clip up against some tough competition as uh, we have Taylor Taylor. Taylor Taylor? Versus. But two of his biggest threats made him a team-up offer. The team-up offer. Taylor Taylor, a classic. Big favorite coming into the, uh, into the tournament. I'm expecting Taylor Taylor to do well. Team up offer, just another weird one. Uh, considering how Witness the LOLs performed, I don't expect this one to go well. So here we go. The poll has started. And team up offer still, after 50 votes, has zero. Zero votes. This is the biggest blowout in the history of the soundbite tournaments. One person. One person. Who is it? I need this person, to, I need this person to come out. We did not promise anonymity. <laughs> you need to own up to your vote because you're proposing a team up offer with a soundbite that has no friends. <laughs> you stand alone. And I didn't even end that early. One vote, a 99% victory for Taylor Taylor setting records. Next up, a soundbite that, that Got me many laughs throughout the season. This is actually a tough matchup here. Oh, not good. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. Honestly, I I can't remember a time it failed to get me a laugh. It 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 catches people off guard. Guard even got Taylor to laugh, but it's up against a heavy hitter here. One of the more iconic sound bites of the entire season. On my soundboard, I have it labeled something a little different. But I'm trying to play it safe because uh, in the previous tournament, uh, a couple of, of my descriptions were not allowed. This one is called 
in the tournament. HOH music. <laughs> you need to listen to the whole thing every time every time it competes that's the rules now it is a great clip but as people notice you know there are some downsides so here we go how will this matchup perform i don't know we'll find out it's ooh not good versus hoh music Ooh, not good. Coming out hot. HOH music at 40%. It'll need a 20 vote jump to catch up. It is slowly climbing. Still climbing. But I don't think it's going to catch up here. This is a this is an early upset. So 44%. It is it is holding on. It is close. But I don't think it will catch up here. Three, two, one, and that's gonna be it. Uh, ooh, not good. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. Beating HOH music right away. Our first big upset of the tournament. Next up, we have uh, one of the wackier sound bites that came from a competition welcome fellow mathletes versus one of the uh, i would say again more versatile sound bites from the season this is a dumb move this is a dumb move you have mathletes versus dumb move dumb move with the early lead and it holds but mathletes Starts to catch up, but I don't think that's going to be enough here as Alyssa's dumb move is going to hold and beat out the fellow mathletes. Not many mathletes in this audience today as dumb move is going to move into round two. Mathletes deserve better. Well, it will have its shot in the loser bracket next up. This is an interesting one. We have quite the classic line here. With the lays? With the lays. The only issue with with the lays is that the audio quality, not what you'd want it to be for a soundbite. It's so iconic that it still is here. With the lays? But it's a little drowned out. However, it's currently up against something similar. I mean, they're lost. I mean, they're lost. <laughs> I actually thought that was worse sound quality. That was actually fine. So, their loss or with the lays. Interestingly, both referring to addressing the same people. Poll starts now. Their loss with an early lead, but then with the lays is going to crush their loss. Here we go. Here are the rest of the sound bites. A classic, very versatile. I'm just, I, I, I don't know. Versus perhaps the most versatile. Oh, God. Just end the season already. Which will move on. And that is that is going to be an easy win for end the season. All right. Next up. Quite a similar one, actually. This season just got boring. <laughs> it's not quite as, like, artistic. You know what I mean? Like, end the season already just has a flair to it. It feels... Avant-garde, and it is currently up against. Am I stupid? Poll starts now. What do you think? You have Kyle's Am I Stupid versus Daniel's season. Just got boring, and this one is close. Separated by one vote, by two votes. Am I Stupid with a slight lead, but season got boring. Just pulled out in front by two votes still. This is the closest matchup we've had all day today so far, and it is still close, only Two votes still separate them. 48 to 40, 49 to 48. This is remarkable. It is 50-50 right now with one, and it's exactly tied. 
What are we going to do here? We're at the limit of our votes. If you haven't voted before, you are going to decide this outcome because we usually don't get too many more votes than this, at least so far in this tournament. We are currently one vote ahead for Season Just Got Boring. One vote separates them. One vote. And we are close to the end in three, two, one. And just at the end, am I stupid? No! No! They don't! <laughs> Am I stupid? Was just about to come back by one vote, but then season got boring, tied it up, and I thought it was over. The bar had had run out when season got boring. Pulled out one more vote and will advance to round two. I know we had the biggest blowout in the soundbite tournament history, and I think we just had the closest matchup in soundbite tournament history right there. Okay. Next up, something that, uh, some words you might be familiar with. The Soundbite Tournament champion, current reigning champion, has some echoes of, it's Kyle Bad Boy. I'm a bad boy. We know the Soundbite Tournament loves bad boys. Big fan of them. Currently up against... I'm so bored and I'm so horny. <laughs> it's so bad and she's so hot. <laughs> what we're calling bored and honey here in the soundbite tournament so that it doesn't reject my inputs. They really do work well together. I'm a bad boy. I'm so bored and I'm so horny. Which do you prefer? <laughs> the poll starts now. Kyle's bad boy dumb clearly holds no candle to Kevin's as bored and honey. We'll move on to round two, sending Kyle Bad Boy to the loser bracket. And here we go. There's always one in the Soundbite tournament. The heavyweight. The favorite coming in. It made some people riches beyond their greatest imagining when they invested early. It's Queen's coming. Queen's coming to get what's hers. Versus Sheeple. Wake up, Sheeple. Which will move on to round two. I wonder. Two people in the chat right now are saying, Wake up, Sheeple. Queen's coming. We'll move on to round two. But who will face off against Queen's coming in round two? There are a couple of options. We've got, honestly, one that went kind of underused, but is genuinely one of my favorites. No, you're not. You're not. Just the, the tone, the whiny tone is perfect. Versus. Wow. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Also pretty good. Ooh, this is close. Oh, wow. Pulling out ahead. Wow. 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 Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> With a big lead over you're not. And you know what? You're not. You're just not that good. No, you're not. You're not. And then finally, we've got two of the sillier sound bites. We've got my squishy. She shall be my squishy. Versus gibberish. <laughs> There's the ball. <laughs> Production finally gets a win here over my squishy as gibberish. We'll move on. That's it for round one. Things get more exciting from here now, though, because some storylines have started to develop. These sound bites, they're hungry. They're hungry for redemption. First round of the loser bracket. These are all losers. 
but one of them will be able to come back and become a winner again. First up. That's what's up. Versus. Witness the LOLs. LOLs or that's what's up? No LOLs will be witnessed. That's what's up. We'll move on to round two. Next up, thematically, this one works very well. We have Don't Air That. Don't Air That. Versus. To that TMI. Don't Air That. To that TMI. Don't Air That. To that TMI. Don't Air That. <laughs> Which will win? Don't Air That crushing TMI. Yet again, the audience with a resounding, yes, that was way TMI. Next, we have boys, girls. She's not the boys, girls. Like, the boys, girls instead of, like, the, you know what I'm talking about? The girls, about. girls. Versus the mathletes. Welcome, fellow mathletes. A true contest of high school archetypes. Are you a boys, girl or a mathlete? It's time to decide. Oh! It's a close one. Only eight votes separate the two. Getting closer as Boys Girls is slowly climbing up to a, to attack Mathletes. Only two votes separate them. 49-50-50. We are exactly even here as Boys Girls takes a small lead over Mathletes. The Mathletes need more math than this if they're going to want to beat Boys Girls because they are three votes behind and it is not looking good as Boys Girls has a Big comeback from the early portion of this poll where Mathletes had a big lead and it is not looking good. Still five votes behind with not much time remaining in the poll. It is, the gap is widening. Seven votes now separate the two and it is looking like Boys Girls has edged out the Mathletes. And just like in high school, the Mathletes are the losers. Next up, I think at the end of the day, you can't replicate what was greatness. Kyle Bad Boy with no traction. Next up, wake up, sheeple. Wake up, sheeple, because. No, you're not. You're not. This is still pretty tight. You're not with a lead here of 13 votes. That's probably going to be enough. Oh, no. What a huge comeback by sheeple. Only three votes now separate the two. And now we're up to five, but that was a huge jump for Sheeple. A big, big law, big clump of Sheeple just all voted for Sheeple at once. But you're not. Pulls back out ahead. Finally, Kyle spills the beans. Kyle spills the beans. Wow. Versus my squishy. She shall be my squishy. Do you want beans? Or do you want squishy? Or... Do you want squishy beans? And that's going to be it for beans. No hope. She's talking about, what do you think is the context for squishy? What does Jasmine talk about? Birthdays and muffins. I guess theoretically she could be talking about uh, her birthday. Her squishy birthday. Oh, uh, all right. It's time for round two of the winner bracket. Winners only around these parts. First up, we've got. No, no, no. Chill, bro. No, no, no. Versus. Are you guys feminists? Feminists. Both pretty versatile, but I think I have an idea of which one might win. The poll starts now. It's actually not that much of a blowout here. No, 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 with some with some support. But I think there are just too many feminists in the chat. Feminists moves on to round three. Which brings us to, oh, these are getting hard already. We've got a classic, a heavyweight. Taylor, Taylor? Versus. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. Now, I think we're starting to, to notice a pattern, right? Taylor quotes, things adjacent to Taylor perform well. But as we just saw, declarations of adversity uttered in humorous ways. Also have a cult following. How will this one go? Let's find out. Taylor will, in fact, be moving on to round three to face off against feminists. Another another 
interesting one. We just had a Jasmine quote, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> being pushed up to round three. But now we have some, some interesting competition because it's going to be Taylor. Boring season where? Versus who ate the half? Come on in. Who ate the half? Muffin. Who ate the half with an early lead, and it's close as boring season wear starts to close the gap, but who ate the half starts pulling out ahead. Who ate the half? The chat might have because they are pulling ahead by by a full half. Boring season wear just got taken down by half of a muffin. And people who were boring season wear fans are currently saying. You look so dumb right now. <laughs> this is a very appropriate matchup, though, because it's you look so dumb versus. This is a dumb move. This is a dumb move. Dumb move. Which dumb is the greater dumb? Unsurprisingly, Taylor's dumb <laughs> crushes the dumb move. Next up, you've got. With the lays? With the lays. Versus! Oh, God. Just end the season already. End the season. Tough one. With the Lay's classic, but kind of hard to hear. End the season. Artistic. It has value. It has purpose. It has versatility. But it's not as iconic. Ooh, it's close. End the season. Pulling ahead. Taking a lead over with the Lay's. End the season. Defeats with the lays. I don't think we even need much fanfare for this one. Queen's coming to get what's hers. Versus. Wow. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow. 52, 64, 74 votes. It took 74 votes before we got two for wow. Finally, the last matchup in round two. We've got. Huh? Versus. Huh? <laughs> Paul starts now. It's tied going in, but gibberish. Can't be stopped. Gibberish will be moving on past Huh to face off against Queen's Coming in round three. That is truly a matchup of Titans. All right, let's, um, yes, let's head into the loser's bracket here. All right. First up, a recent loser. It's no, no, no. No, no, no. Chill, bro. Versus. My Squishy. She shall be my Squishy. My Squishy is officially eliminated from the competition. This is another big matchup here. Ooh, not good. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> Which just got done losing to Taylor Taylor versus You're Not. Which was beat out by Wow. So, ooh, not good. Definitely with the better pedigree here. No, you're not. You're not. But you're not refuses to allow it <laughs> that status. Here's the ball. Ooh, not good. Just crushing. You're not. You're not is currently saying. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> for itself. Next. This season just got boring. Versus. Don't air that. Is the season boring or should we not air it? I don't know. It's up to you. Don't air that. Big following here in the loser bracket as it is going to crush season just got boring. Huh, just devastating, that's what's up. Here we go, we are going to start round three in the loser bracket, and it's gonna be ooh not good versus no no no. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. Versus. No, 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 chill bro. The two declarations of misfortune said in humorous ways. The misery in their voice is palpable. And they've both reassuringly lost. 
so that they are facing the very adversity that they're calling out in these statements. And now they are facing off against each other. Only one statement of misery can move on. Which will it be? The choice is yours. It's not even close. Brittany is the master of misfortune as ooh, ooh guys, not good. It's not looking good. <laughs> we'll be moving on in the loser bracket. Ending. No, no, no. Finally. Huh? Huh? Versus HOH music. HOH music has been cruising through this loser bracket. The first round loser bracket is all out except for HOH music. But here we go. And that is not even going to be close. HOH music is truly the darling of the loser bracket. What a run here as it moves into round four. But it's time. You knew we'd have to come back. The winner's bracket must be updated. These are the best of the best. The undefeated champions of the winner bracket. First, we have feminists. Are you guys feminists? Versus. Taylor, Taylor. Are you feminists or are you Taylors? The poll starts now. Taylor, Taylor with a huge lead over feminists as what usually happens in Big Brother. The feminists are no longer sticking together as Taylor Taylor crushes feminists in the wake of its domination. Turns out there were more boys girls in this chat than we thought, perhaps, as Taylor Taylor moves on. Two more iconic sound bites. Who ate the half? Come on in. Who ate the half? Muffin. Muffin? Versus! You look so dumb right now. <laughs> Who looks dumb? Who ate the half? The audience will decide. The poll starts now. Oh, and we have an early tie? But who ate the half with a small lead to start? But this one is close. We are down by, it's a difference of now 10 votes, 54 to 46%. And it's a small lead for who ate the half. And it's closing. Now only two votes separate the two. Three votes. Who ate the half? Up by four votes now, 52%. 53% for who ate the half. It's still maintaining that small lead. You look so dumb. Came back with a big boost, but it is still behind by just too much to catch up here. To you, to who ate the half, six votes now separate the two, and 6%, and it's not going to be enough. We are closing in on the end of this poll. Five votes still need to be counted for you look so dumb to catch up, and it's down to four. Three votes, three votes away, but we are at three, two, one, with two votes. One vote. Just one vote separate the two, but who ate the half does, in fact... Hold its lead over you look so dumb. You look so dumb right now. <laughs> the percentage is 50-50, but with one vote to separate the two, who ate the half will be moving on to face off against Taylor Taylor in a Jasmine versus Jasmine matchup. Next up, we have its end the season. Oh, God. Just end the season already. Versus... Bored and honey. I'm so bored and I'm so horny. <laughs> you might want to say one in relation to the other, but you can only choose one. The poll starts now. Oh, it's another close one so far. It's very close. One vote separates the two. 56% to end the season right now with a small lead over bored and honey. And the honey is not quite sweet enough. It is now 6%. Now 43% down, it's 13 votes, 14 votes behind. I don't think it will be able to catch up here unless it has a massive push. And it's not impossible. We have seen some big comebacks, but not quite this big and not quite this late in the game. It's going to need more than 10 seconds to catch up on this one. And here we go. And the season is going to defeat Bored and Honey. And finally in what might be the biggest matchup of the winner's bracket. Two true juggernauts of the tournament. Queen's coming to get what's hers. Versus 
Just keeps going. Which will win? The queen or the gibberish? The poll starts now. Gibberish with the one vote lead, but it's not going to hold as Queen's Coming gets a big boost out the front push. And here it is, 66 votes, 70% to 30. It is not going to be enough for Gibberish. Well attempted here, but Gibberish will be defeated by the Queen, who is in fact coming to get what's hers. And Gibberish heads into the loser bracket which we will now dive into. First up, we've got feminists. Are you guys feminists? Versus. With the lace? Two Taylor clips. It's a tough one. Are you feminists or do you have the lays? One of these is going to lose out. With the lays, it's had quite the run here in the loser bracket. It's been holding on. Feminists. Recent convert to the loser bracket. Which will win. And it's not even close! Feminists, who was undefeated until just recently, is crushed by With The Lays, who has been holding on here in the loser bracket. Once the chat decided they were done with their feminism, they meant it! As With The Lays knocks out feminists. Next up. HOH Music, who has been in the loser bracket since the first round, the only surviving loser bracket round one contender remaining, truly the underdog of the tournament, scrapping and scraping its way through versus a heavy hitter in the winner bracket. You look so dumb, has been making everything it touches look dumb. Until very recently. Which one has what it takes to face off against with the lays in the, in the next round of the loser bracket? You must decide. You look so dumb with the one vote lead. And after the first push, it still holds against HOH music. You know what? I forgot to play them. Uh, you look so dumb. You look so dumb right now. Versus the music. <laughs> and here we go. It's 43% for HOH music. It doesn't look like it will be enough. There are still some votes, but I don't know if the votes can make it there. 12 votes separate the two. 11 votes. I don't think it will be enough. Just 10 votes separate them now. As HOH Music has been finally stomped out by You Look So Dumb. And just like that, big upset as HOH Music is out. Some say the kissing sounds made the whole thing. Others said it was gross. Next up. I'm so bored and I'm so horny. <laughs> it's so bad and she's so hot. Bored and honey. Recently defeated by end of the season. Up against ooh, not good. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> A gladiator of the loser bracket sent in on round two has gone on to defeat other exclamations of pain and misfortune. But Bored and Honey is a classic. It's Bored. One, one to start and then a huge push for Oh Not Good. Bored and Honey. The audience is done with its sweets. Ooh, Not Good is going to crush Bored and Honey. The audience said... I never want this to happen. I'm so bored. I'm so horny. <laughs> it's so bad. And she's so hot. That to happen. <laughs> Next up, it's gibberish. Versus Boring season where 
Gibberish, a uh, heavy favorite, recently dethroned by the queen herself. But can Taylor defeat Gibberish a second time? Does boring season wear have what it takes to conquer the gibberish? And an early lead for boring season, but then it closes in. Gibberish catching up. It is close between the two of them. Five votes separate them currently as the boring season is starting to, to, to widen that gap and pull away from gibberish. But gibberish now closing back in again, closing in seven votes now. Seven votes separate them. Six votes separate them. This is not down and out yet. Only four votes now. Gibberish with a small and stro so slow and steady comeback for Gibberish. It is coming in with two votes. Three votes separate them. It is too close for Gibberish. I am starting to speak Gibberish as we get to this result of this poll. Four votes now separate them. Gibberish keeps trying to close the gap, but boring season where will not let it in. Only two votes now as the poll is coming to a close in three, two, one. And it's just like that boring season where by again one vote stomps out gibberish. Boring season where? The third one vote matchup as gibberish is taken out. In this round alone, we have lost forever HOH music, feminists, gibberish, and bored and honey. And it's time to keep on moving here. In the loser bracket, we need to keep eliminating these clips. It's time. With the lays? With the lays versus. You look so dumb right now. <laughs> you look so dumb. Took out HOH music. With the Lays took out Feminists, and it's close yet again, but you look so dumb with a big push there to take a commanding lead over With the Lays. With the Lays has been fighting, has been struggling, but it's time is looking like it's finally come, and there it is. You look so dumb. Moves on, which leaves us with yet another tough elimination choice. Boring season wear versus ooh, not good. Boring season wear? Boring season wear having just come from just demolishing by one vote, just ripping the hearts out of the gibberish supporters. But ooh, not good. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> has been performing time and time again with a, with a loyal fan base, which will survive boring season where with the one vote lead early on but ooh not good with the big push to start the round boring season where though not giving up slowly closing the gap but it's not too often that that will work unless it continues and it's starting to look like ooh not good will hold and that's going to be it i think here I don't think the votes, I, I just don't think there are enough votes for Boring Season Wear to catch up as Ooh Not Good takes out Boring Season Wear. All right. Now it's time to come back to the winner bracket where the true contenders lie. We have some tough matchups here. It's Taylor Taylor. Taylor Taylor? Versus who ate the half? Come on in. Who ate the half? Muffin. Jasmine versus Jasmine. Muffin versus Taylor. They have both dominated their competition. They have both defeated Taylor quotes themselves. But only one of them can move on in the winner bracket. Which one will it be? And Taylor Taylor with a big lead over who ate the half. And Taylor Taylor just destroys who ate the half. We now have another big matchup. It's end the season, which has had a dominant performance so far. Oh God, just end the season already. Made Taylor herself crack up with laughter, but it's up against the heavyweight, the favorite, the financial windfall that is Queen's coming. Queen's coming to get what's hers. Does it stand a chance? We'll have to decide. 
Queen's Coming with the one vote early lead, and there it is after the first push, a huge lead for Queen's Coming. And Queen's Coming, indeed, is too powerful. Queen's Coming will move on to face off against Taylor Taylor in the final round of the winner bracket. But before we get to that, we need to close out this loser bracket. First up, we're back here. Come on in. Who ate the half? Muffin. Who ate the half versus... Who? Guys, it's not looking good. Who not good. Who not good has been fighting tooth and nail through this loser bracket from round two where it entered in after being defeated by Taylor Taylor itself, who has now made the finals of that winner bracket, up against who ate the half, only having recently been defeated also by Taylor Taylor. They're both hoping for revenge, but only one of them can move on. The poll starts now. Who ate the half with the one vote lead, but ooh, not good wins the first push, and with the second push, dominates over who ate the half. Who ate the half who has been crushing it in the winner bracket for so long is just getting demolished by Unot Good, who has gained in power as it's risen through the ranks in the dungeon of the loser bracket. It has picked up steam. It has won over its supporters. It has a loyal fan base, and it cannot be stopped as it crushes through all halves of all muffins that have ever existed as Unot Good wins over Who Ate the Half. Then, we have End the Season. Oh, God. Just end the season already. Versus. You look so dumb right now. <laughs> end the Season versus You Look So Dumb. Two sound bites that, again, fit well together. But which one is better? End the Season with perfect just taste of schadenfreude. You look so dumb with the in-your-face slam. It's time to find out which one Moves on. What do you think, Kellis? End the season with the early lead, but you look so dumb. Wins the first push. End the season. Comes back in the second push. And with the third push, widens the gap. And here it is. End the season with a 55% lead right now over you look so dumb. Ten votes separate the two. End the season is looking to end this poll. 60% of a lead here as you look so dumb struggles to close that gap slowly. And that's going to be it. End the season has defeated You Look So Dumb. And we are now here at the finals of the loser bracket. The final until the second final, but it's the first final. We have End the Season, who is a recent convert to the loser bracket. It merely adopted the shadows of the loser bracket, having been defeated by Queen's Coming just a couple of rounds ago. It has gone on to defeat You Look So Dumb. And it's up against Who? Not good, who in round two was defeated by Taylor Taylor and has since then gone on to survive every single loser bracket against Your Not, No No No, Bored and Honey, Boring Season Wear, Who Ate the Half. And now here it is, up against End the Season. Can End the Season end one more season or will Ooh Not Good put End the Season? into a not good place. The poll starts after I play the clips. Oh, God. Just end the season already. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. Both declarations of misery, but only one can win. Which one will it be? And in the first push, we got three to two. Ooh, not good winning the second push there and the third and ooh, not good with a big lead. Ooh, not good has just become too powerful in the loser bracket. The devastation it has caused, the bodies it has built up and piled upon its path to victory. And end the season has finally been ended as Ooh Not Good moves on, having won the loser bracket almost. I say almost because there's one more person, one more clip it needs to win against. Taylor Taylor, the original defeater, the only time Ooh Not Good has lost has been against Taylor Taylor. Taylor Taylor, who has 
gone on to defeat the likes of Team Up Offer, Ooh Not Good Itself, Feminists, Who Ate the Half, is now up against Queen's Coming. Queen's Coming also undefeated to this point. Defeated Sheeple. Wow. Gibberish itself. As well as end the season. And this is probably going to be indicative of the winner of the entire tournament. Unless Ooh Not Good can come in with the upset. This could be the poll that decides who joins the ranks of Bad Boy. You've got Queen's Coming. Some say Queen's Coming cheated in this tournament. Made a lot of people a lot of money. Donated to a lot of campaigns. People feel like they might owe Queen's Coming something. But undeniably, the Queen is coming to get what's hers. And undeniably, it represents the season well. But Taylor Taylor, another big shot, another representation of the season, actually says the name of the Queen, has been scrappy and fighting it out through this tournament. Only one can win. Will it be Taylor Taylor? 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 Or will it be Queen's coming? Queen's coming to get what's hers. You have one minute. The poll starts now. One to one for the first push. The second push is a huge lead for Queen's coming. And Queen's coming to get what's hers. And it's too powerful. Taylor Taylor is crushed in the wake of Queen's coming. There is no hope for Queen's coming as Taylor Taylor is defeated handily. Which means we're going to see a rematch. Queen's coming thinks they've won it all. In a normal tournament, that would have been the end. Queen's coming would have won, and there wouldn't have been anything else to do. But in the double elimination tournament, there's one more thing to do. And that's a rematch between Taylor Taylor and Ooh Not Good. Taylor Taylor thought Ooh Not Good was dead and gone long ago. But Ooh Not Good has had a whole training montage in the depths of the loser bracket dungeons and is ready to face Taylor Taylor one more time. To steal second place out from under it. The time has come. Taylor? Taylor? Or. Ooh, guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> which will succeed. The poll starts now. The first push is even. The second push goes to Ooh, not good. And it's not even close. What a turnaround for Ooh, not good. Like it's the main character in an anime, defeating the Taylor Taylor Tyrant, 65%. This is the power of stories, of adversity. Ooh, not good, will escape from the loser bracket and be redeemed to head back to the winner bracket. And here it is, the ultimate, what could be the final poll of the whole bracket. Of the whole tournament, if Ooh Not Good wins this, we will have one more runoff poll. But if Queen's Coming defeats Ooh Not Good and maintains its undefeated, undisputed spot as the royalty, as the queen of this tournament, then it will all be over right here, right now. Here it is. Queen's Coming to get what's hers. Versus. Ooh. Guys, it's not looking good. <laughs> the chat is already at war, but it's time to take it to the polling streets. And it starts right now with one minute on the clock. Queen's coming versus ooh, not good. Queen's coming with the early lead. The first push goes largely to Queen's coming. Ooh, not good is not looking good as it only has 32% of the votes. Queen's coming as too powerful. The queen has got what's coming to her. And what's coming to her is the crown, is the sword, is the shield. As Queen's coming is our tournament champion for Big Brother 24. It's unstoppable. It won everyone money and it bribed every single voter. And it doesn't matter because Queen's coming is the queen of the Big Brother 24 sound bite tournament. Queen's coming to get what's hers. And there, there it is. That was the soundbite tournament. There it is. Queen's coming. Undefeated. 
in first place. And with that in mind, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quickly play a little soundbite. Yeah, I got you here. Queen's coming to get what's hers. Yes. Now that I like the DRs. That sound clip, that's an investment. All right. Later okay. in the season, the, the later we get, the more valuable it becomes. Mm -hmm. If on finale night I get to play that sound clip, I'm just saying. I'm basically a financial genius. Today is November 1st. Almost four months ago. Almost four months ago. I told you. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's continue. Ooh, not good. With the comeback of the century. Steals out second place from Taylor Taylor. By defeating it in a rematch of the ages. Taylor Taylor in third place here. Being beaten out only by Queen's Coming itself. And ooh, not good. End the season. In fourth place. Who ate the half here in fifth place? You look so dumb with a crushing sixth place performance. Coming in clutch. I don't think anybody saw you look so dumb coming. Boring season wear here in seventh place. With the lays in eighth. Bored and Honey in ninth place. Two wins, two losses. And then Feminists is going to round out our top ten with another two win, two loss record beaten out by Taylor Taylor. And with the lays. Gibberish just missing the top ten here in eleventh place. HOH Music in twelfth. And those are the standings. We now have two undisputed champions of the Soundbite tournaments and... Queen's coming to get what's hers. Who will join their ranks? We'll have to wait until Big Brother Canada 11 to find out. But until then, thank you for joining me in the Big Brother 24 Soundbite Tournament.